Finding. New episode right now. There are many mysteries about the Earth and the animals that inhabit it. One of these mysteries is an animal called the Riculagus Caniculus. For time's sake, I'll just call them the Lagus. Because there has been few confirmed sightings of this creature, no one really knows if it's fact or fiction. One of the original sightings was in Illinois. In 1940, Dorothy Coonhart was taking a leisurely walk in the forest preserve when suddenly she was attacked by a creature with long ears and sharp teeth. The teeth chewed through her jeans and scraped her knee, and then the animal ran away. Luckily, she survived the attack, but suffered psychological problems. Another sighting of this creature was in 1966. Early in the morning, Beatrix Potter was reading her newspaper on her patio when she saw something jumping in the distance. She decided to take a closer look and found what she could describe as a ferocious mammal. She began drawing some sketches of the animal, but couldn't draw in all the detail because as she got closer, the strange animal darted away. She claimed that when she got closer, the strange animal was as fast as a cheetah. Could this be the reason why lagus are so hard to find? Hi, my name is Seth Salkenweiss, and this is Finding Auriculagus Coniculus. My journey starts at WJHS. According to rumors, the lagus can be found in the Midwest, so we ask people of the Midwest for more information. What do you know about the mystery of the Auriculagus Coniculus? I've only heard from rumors, but some say their feet are as powerful as a truck. Oh, I don't know much about this creature of legends. Talk to the school lagusologist. He definitely knows more than I do. Where can I find his room? Just down the hall. Thank you. Hello. I'm Professor Orville Cottontail. Foremost authority on the Eryptolagus caniculus. May I help you? Now, can you tell me more about this creature? Yes, I can. Many people do not believe that this creature exists. However, I believe that they do. No one's ever seen this creature, and what we know about it comes only from droppings, footprints, archaeological remains, and cave drawings. We have found that the Eryptolagus caniculus can vary in size. Some are quite small, while others can grow to enormous size. Mostly they walk on all fours, but sometimes they can stay on their hind legs. And we believe we've seen sites of recent lagus activity. These sites are characterized by massive destruction. Cut wires, chewed furniture, destroyed gardens. It is clear that the erect lagus caniculus has only two goals, to hide and to ravage. Do you know how I can find this animal? I would suggest that you use bait like a xenohoria. According to legend, xenohoria is the Eryptolagus caniculus' favorite food. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. According to the Lagus algus, I should use bait to find the animal. I'm right now outside the animal's natural habitat, and I'm using a Zana Aurea to make the animal come to me. Here, Lagus. Day two. No sign of any animal coming. Maybe the lagus can hear me with his gigantic ears. I'm going to have to come up with another plan. Right now, I'm going underground, hoping that the lagus will show up. I've been here for a few hours, and I don't believe the lagus will show up. I'm going to have to think of another plan. Day four. No lagus has still been found. Uh, wait, I, 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 th I think I see one. I can't miss my only chance. What are you doing? I didn't know Lagus can talk. No, Lagus. I'm a person. You have fake ears. I'm going to a costume party. Oh, sorry. I was trying to find the original Lagus caniculus. Could you possibly do one, though? So there's something to the audience? No! Well, it looks like the mystery of the original Lagus caniculus is still unsolved. Is it real? Is it just a myth? We don't know. So join me next time on Finding Auriculagus Coniculus. Here comes Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way Bringing every girl and boy Basket
is full of Easter joy. Things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue. There's an orchid for your 